Hello, YouTube. I'm Reverb17, and I'm here today with my friend Melton Butter. <laughs> and Dresty2. <laughs> and we're going to be starting a new YouTube series today called Let's Play Valcraft. It's centered around a small server that we have running or being managed out of Norwich, Kansas. It's being run on a dedicated server. Um, it is a family-friendly server that we uh, take very much pride in, and uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. We're going to spend this episode explaining everything, and then ne the episode after this we'll get actually into the gameplay. So here we go. Uh, here's the address, as you can see, at play.valcraft.net, and um, once we get in there, we'll explain everything to you. Okay, log in. And here we are, and where's my buds? Where's my buds at? Hmm? Woo -woo. Uh, there's Melton Butter, and where where's he at? The elusive Dark Knight. Where is he? He's right behind you. Where? Da -da -da -da. I don't see him. Da -da -da -da. I found him! Ha -ha. Where is he? It's oh. right here. Oh, it's Batman! There's Batman! Ha -ha. I'm gonna get you. Aha! There he is. Okay. So here we go, the world of Valcraft. Um, about Valcraft, check out a book from the library. I'm just going to check out this book. And you're going to right-click this book, and you're going to get the rules. And I'll just let you, uh, as a viewer, read through these. Uh, basically what it's saying, you got to accept the rules once you get on. Uh, got the main spawn world, which is world edit for uh, admins and stuff like that to do server builds and towns and stuff like that. Uh, main survival world, which is what you'll play on as a player. Island world, just sky block. Creative world, and then the Badlands. Now the Badlands, I'm actually going to take time to explain. Um, Badlands is a place where we will send players for being quote-unquote bad. And um, the only rules in there are um, uh, no cussing and uh, no extra of any form. Otherwise, everything else goes. So, um... Uh, I'll actually have a Milton Butter explain to you why the Badlands are so fun to play. Well, you get to basically do anything you want to. Uh, there's no no rules whatsoever, so it's no holds bar factions or anything you want to do. Basically, just go at it. Also, uh, we will send, we will send you to the Badlands. Um, if you have broken the rules on the survival server, which are okay. no cussing, love your grandma. Don't Bye. spend. <laughs> don't yeah, spam Batman the admins. Called his, <laughs> Batman called his grandma. Don't spam the admins. Basically, yeah, just general rules age. that you should keep a uh, hold of. Please don't grief. But other than that, it's it's pretty fun. Uh, we have many many multiple builds that you can take a part in if you want to, or you can just go off on your own. Yeah, and well, uh, we we have uh, we have what is it six ranks on this server? Um, yep. Builder one, which is basically what you'll start out at. Uh, then builder two and three, and there's certain hey, limitations Milton, to every you. every single Milton, one, watch which watch is it, like watch it, watch it, watch it. Um, builder builder two will get double the XP and double the ranking status uh, every time they do something, and they can place lava and ender chests. Uh, once you reach builder three, you'll get three times the XP and ranking, just like as builder two gets two times, and you'll after that you'll be able to place TNT. Now I will warn you, Shad does uh, our very glorious leader Shad Valentine, who owns the server uh, full on. Um, has a plug-in on his phone that every time there's a piece of TNT placed in the world, he will get a text message to his phone. So be very careful about what you're doing. Or if you're like me, you place millions and millions of blocks of TNT. Yeah. But don't set them off. <laughs> please, please don't set them off. We don't need a server crash. So uh, what, what, what do you think we should show them first? Uh, you think we should show them the capital and the Dragon Travel, and the Dragon Travel plug-in? Well, I think uh, before we do that, we should probably start building... Well, let's just uh, let's just spend this Let's Play video like actually showing them how everything works, and then we'll get the next one in on actually starting out. Okay. Well, <clears> then <throat> let's head to the capital. Okay. So. We. You stole my dragon. My dragon. And there we go. Place. So they're flying off, and here we go. We're gonna fly off, and uh, granted. To all our viewers, you may think this plugin's a little buggy, but this actually is a lot more interesting than just doing the whole, same old, same old, oh, TP to the capital, or TP to this city, or TP to that city. I mean, this is cool. It doesn't take that long to get somewhere. It's interesting. It's new. It's unique. Formula. Now, I do notice that the dragon is flying kind of cockeyed. Giggle at that if you wish. <laughs> 
Um, but you know, it, it's not bad. It's it's a really nice plug-in. And um, we are sticking to a pretty good time limit on some of these videos, so if you don't have time to, like, listen to our videos and listen to us rant about just random things about Minecraft, uh, you can go ahead and skip to episode two that we're going to have up. Here. Okay, and here we go. We're at the Capitol. So oh. th this is one of the places where you can come to pretty much get anything that you need. Um we have shops where you can buy all sorts of different stuff. This is like your generalized pre-made items. And this right here, this glorious building in the center is um actually our um uh, is actually our spleef arena. And um this was actually built by our head owner um on his free time. And um I think it's like one of the I honestly in my opinion, I think it's one of the coolest buildings on the server. Just because of the way I like it the looks. statues. Uh, the statues are actually one of my builds. Uh huh. All right. Uh, let's uh... Uh, let's just explain the different shops and buildings. Okay. Um. So let's start with the hardware shop. The hardware shop was um uh, built by Melissa and Sadie Valentine, Shad's uh, oldest daughter and wife. Um, basically, what the hardware shop is is anything mechanical, such as pistons, mine carts, hoppers, daylight sensors, anything redstone related. And then on top, it's like chests, crafting tables, and I, I will warn all of you players, um, everything is outrageously overpriced in the capital. And the reason for that being is you can easily we don't acquire... encourage laziness. We don't encourage laziness. And you can easily acquire a lot of this stuff on your own. So it's just kind of, they're jacked up prices to... Um, or buy or trade. Yeah, or buy or trade, so you can actually Did go you know and sell your stuff. And jumping? You. Did you know running and jumping is faster than just running? Now this, this is, this is actually one of my favorite buildings in the capital. It's called the warehouse. It's basically if you have something that you don't want or you don't need, you can just come dump it in, just, and then any player has access to it. So actually, I think we'll take some advantage of this and take a bunch of stuff for our uh, survival part of this. So... Um, guys, grab all the cobblestone you can, all the tools. Um, I'm going to grab a few bows. We've got some bowls, so if we find a mushroom biome... Actually, let's shoot for a mushroom biome if we can. So we can build Mario? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yes. Um, it's -a me and Mario. It's -a me and Mario. So I'm going to take a bunch of this cobblestone, and we'll save this for uh, next time, when we actually start playing. So, um, next building... Here, um... Give me the stuff that we're going to store away. Oh, no, no, no. I, I've, I've got all the stuff I'm going to keep. I'm just going to hold on to it. Okay, um, here we go. So we're going to go over here to the next building. Um, this building is the um, market, which this building is actually one that I have per – me and uh, one other user have personally built. And basically what this is is you can come in here as a player, rent a space for a week or longer, and you can sell your own stuff. So let's say you have a bunch of cobblestone that you don't need. You can come in here and do like uh, one of our favorite users, uh, Blockslord, did, and he can. Um, you can sell your stuff here, and people can buy it, and that's a good way for you to make money. Now, what money what money is used for on the server is for other shops, and you also have to have money to buy, uh, get to Builder uh, Two and Builder Three. So I'm. Um, uh, <laughs> Move on to the next so, part of the capital. Okay, um, this right okay. here is the portal hub, and basically this will take you to – Billy, where does the um, uh, portal hub take you? Uh, creative and Badlands? Creative and Badlands. No, the, the, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, it ta it takes you to uh, creative and games, and yeah. then over here – here we go. Over here is the Badlands portal. And as you can see, very dark, very spooky, very ominous. And once you go through, you can come out. But like I says, no laws beyond this point. Vanilla world. The only way in and out is through this mine shaft. You can't TP home or anything. It's just, it's just absolutely eh. I love it. It looks just like a bat cave. So anyway, um, up here is actually one of our cooler parts. It's um, this is the residential rental district where you can come up here and you can like let's say this plot right here. Hey, um, hey, hey, to the Batmobile. You can rent this plot and it lets you build in this little space right here, and you can like live in the capital instead of living out in the wilderness. So I, I guess it's kind of cool. Um, the garden, the gardens here are really. What the heck? Did I just fall through the ground? <laughs> Could you get me out of here? Jump. Now you all pay. 
Oh, great, Billy. What did you do? Stay there. Don't move. Uh. Darn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, I'm really sorry about this. It's a, This is Butter's typical derpy attitude. Okay, so I'm just going to look up real quick. Sorry about this, guys. Just... Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Now he got stuck. Somebody uh -huh. can a block and get him out of there. Okay, so I'm going to head over to the next building. And there you can see... Um, the gloriousness of the uh, full view of the Spleef Arena with our glorious Valcraft flag at the top. Okay, so next <laughs> building. I actually don't know if does the skyscraper have a use yet. Yeah, it was originally um, it was originally supposed to be like a uh, a hub for the admins, but we just kind of turned it into an office building. Yeah, it's just office building. Um, same thing, wondering about the, um, uh, pagoda, the Japanese pagoda over here. That's just look nice. Yeah, that's just for mm. Um, then over here we have, um, the jewelry store. I'm amazed you knew what that was. Not the jewelry yeah. store, but the Japanese pagoda. And this is where you buy diamonds, emeralds, compasses, why? Hi, Rob, would you like to buy some a stuff today? Gold nugget and a gold ingot. Oh, no, thank you. I just buy, I just looky look. I see you come across the street to have strange And items. here is our herbalism shop or our garden sap. Yes. It's like hey, saplings. Oh, I mean, oh, I, mean oh, I mean, seriously, think think about this as a player. Do you really need to buy a cactus? Yep. Maybe. I know it looked okay, good in my bathroom. And then um, the library. I really like this library. Um, who was who the one that built this? The original builder isn't on the server anymore. It was, uh, his name is Jesse DeForest, or I I don't remember his gamer name, but, I yeah. know where the bell is. Wait, the help desk. If you're lost, ring the bell. Wait, we lost the bell. Find the bell for a reward. Where's the bell? I don't know. Ding, ding. I found the bell. I found the bell. Yeah. It doesn't work. Ding 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 ding. I can't. I can't. I get a reward. I get a reward. Yay! All right, keep going. Okay. Over this way is the books. No. And ba sure. basically, sure in in the library in here, this is where you'd buy enchanting tables, books, bookshelves, stuff like that. Any anything. Phenomena. Really. Um, Anywho, on the way to the next building. On the way to the next building. Uh, We're at 13 minutes. What is our next building? Next building, uh, wool shop. The wool, wool shop. shop. Huh. Ironically, made out of wool. Uh -huh. Never saw that coming. Um, pretty much self-explanatory. I'm not even going to bother going inside wool shop. Oh. It's go in there and buy wool, different colors. It's a hammer. This one is one of my favorite buildings. This is Thor's hammer or the blacksmith shop. Built by me and Chad. Come in here, you buy all your iron tools. No higher rank than iron. And final shop. What is this one? This one is the bakery. It's a bakery. It's me. Here. Hey, Do we have any pasta? Yeah. Baba da boopy. Boopy da baba da baba da. Baba da boopy. Hey, old boopy. Woo. Okay, so yeah, you just come in here to buy random food stuffs. Actually, come to think of it, I'm gonna buy. Some pumpkin pie and some cake. Cake is a lie. Cake may be a lie, but it's delicious. It is. Ah, oh, crap. I can't place down cake in this area. Hey, look. It's a turnable cake. Oh! So, guys. It. Oh, my gosh, we... Billy. Oh, my oh, gosh. no. Uh, I got it. I got it, bro. Well, you broke it, so I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. Get out of OP mode. Oh, I'm sorry. You had to fix stuff. <clears throat> Come on, boys. We got a ride. Okay, so uh, I think we got time to show them one more town. Shire. Um, I I think we should call this good, and episode two should be the next town. 
And basically, we'll spend all, uh, to all our viewers out there. We are just going to basically what we'll, I think we'll do is we'll spend the first few episodes of this Let's Play Valcraft explaining explaining our server and just letting you know like what goes on with it. And um, the uh, the next uh, I think maybe video four or five I think we'll actually get into playing it. Um, actually, actually, guys, do you think we could get Shad to reset skills? No. Oh, no. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. There's no way I'm going to reset my skills. No, oh, yeah. you reset yours, not ours, and then you can do the Let's Play. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. I, I see Batman. I'm gaining on him. I'm You'll never catch me, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ahead of Batman. Because I'm chasing you. Batman's chasing me. I'm going to set an ambush for him at the World Tree. He didn't hear me say that. Bye bye. Ta -da. Here we go. Did that idiot jump off the side? Yep. All right. I think we should call that. Okay. So, uh, to all our viewers, hope you liked the video, and we will see you next time on Let's Pl on Let's Play Valkyrie. I'm